number three set to tee off. The Hall of Famer Norm Duke versus your number two seed Richie Allen. Duke up first on the left lane. Leaves the 10. Again, Norm, the defending champion here at the Cheetah Championship. Last game shoots 269, a, a very unassuming 269, and right here starts with a soft 10. Told us Tate really wants to start strong out of the gate, and a victory here would do just that. So a spare in the first for Duke, and now the introduction for your number two seed, Richie Allen. The number two player owns two national PBA Tour titles from Columbia, South Carolina, THB, Richie Allen. I heard Mike J call him THB, short for Typical House Bowler, which is what somebody called him one time. He said, okay, I'll take that challenge and I'll put it on ink and I'll put it on my body. <laughs> He's got a THB tat on that finely chiseled Columbia, South Carolina body of Richie Allen. One of the one of the great personalities on the tour. And this is the head pin badly there. One, two, four, six, ten, wash out. You know, Rob, somebody once called me Pizza Face Randy in high school, but I didn't get that tattooed on my body. And you're not going to see Richie Allen trying to attack this cheetah oil pattern completely different. He's going to try to hook it. He's hooked it all week long. And the first shot right out of the gate, the one, two, four, six, ten, wash out. Well, if you're going to face a washout, the first frame is the one to do it in, unless it mentally cripples you for the rest of the match. That's a good point. Yeah! Big pickup for Alec. Uh, take your bow, Richie. I like it. Well, there's two schools of thought on trying to convert this washout. One is trying to throw a strike ball. The other is getting the ball to the left side of the head pin. But Richie Allen, nice break here, getting the pin off the side wall and converts. And right now it's a spare in the first frame for both players. All tied up. Allen, your leader after the second round of qualifying. Just two career tour titles. And here's Allen's arsenal for the afternoon. Going with the mission, something that's right in between his strongest uh, bowling ball and something just a little bit softer. The Mission 9.0 hook rating. Woo! Some double wood there, and he is dancing with that gutter. Two different angles of attack you're going to see Richie Allen. He's going to be playing in and trying to circle the ball more. We've seen Norm Duke play that straighter shot. Right now, Richie trying to get lined up and use that friction to the right. Both first shots have been light. Chops down the double wood, so back-to-back -back spares to open up our de facto semifinal game for Allen. And here is Norm Duke in his 105th career TV Finals appearance. Again, 33 tour titles. He has won a win today with time for fourth most in PBA history with Mark Roth, and he told us today that has been the major motivation this week for him. Still seeking a strike here in the semis, and Norm will be fortunate to get a spare here in the second. And Norm's been having some approach issues on this right lane, and anytime you start seeing Norm come up and out of a shot like that, he's either throwing it too fast or he's having problems with the approaches. First open frame of the afternoon. That's yeah, one thing you don't see a whole lot on, on the cheetah wall pattern is open frames because generally the four or five superstars that you have on the telecast are players that never had trouble getting their ball to strike. Now, speaking of trouble, how about trouble in Las Vegas for Norm Duke? Think of all the cities the PBA has been to and how many times they've been in Las Vegas. Norm has never won here. I kind of stuck in his craw today when we talked to him about it. He 
you know, Rob, there's a lot of people that have never won in Las Vegas. There's a lot of a lot of people have never won oh, in wait a minute. the United you're, States of America. Wait a minute, you're talking oh, about bowling. a bowling tournament. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, no, good point. The conclusion of the Allen Duke semifinal, and Randy answers a fan question when ESPN's coverage of the World Series of Bowling returns to Las Vegas. here at the World Series of Bowling, and this is what happened while you were gone. Fourth frame, Richie Allen through the nose. 4-9 split. Right when he had the lead in the match after Duke's open, all of a sudden Duke comes back working on a double and goes big four, gives it right back to Richie Allen. You can't believe it. And then Allen gives it right back to Norm Duke. <laughs> Just this back and forth of open frames, and this is something we'd never expect on the cheetah oil pattern. And we talked high scoring throughout the week. We had 12 perfect games here, and suddenly in the semifinals, Richie Allen and Norm Duke just absolutely struggling here as we get set to close out the sixth. Duke up four, coming off an open frame eight in the fifth frame. Nobody has really taken this match by a stranglehold yet. Duke with a chance. And a timely strike for Duke. Voted the seventh greatest player in PBA history a few years ago, and that strike shows you why. And Rob, it's really hard to say which lane Norm prefers over the other because he's got open frames on both the right and left lane. Only three strikes for Duke, two on the right, one on the left. This is a big shot coming up because this is a shot right after his big four that he left in the fifth frame on that left lane. Back to back jacks for Storm and Norman. And what a response to that big four. Uh, and that's why he's a Hall of Famer. He made the proper adjustment and he made it with conviction. And he was able to perform perfectly after that devastating big four in the fifth. Allen, only one strike. It came on the right lane in the third. Gets them all to drop right there. One of my favorite things I like to ask the bowlers, Randy, as the season begins is, you know, what did you work on in the offseason? So I asked Richie Allen, Richie, what did you work on in the offseason? Without missing a beat, making a baby. I'm so looking forward to March that, you know, this is just, I'm here for the week, I'm bowling, I'm trying to make some money, I'm trying to do what I do, and uh, everything, this is all secondary. You know, I'm just waiting until March gets here, so to, to actually start life anew. A different standard of life. You know, now I'm not, I'm not just a bowler anymore. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be a father. Looks like a little, a little, a little astronaut floating around in space, kind of. Just a, a half little me. It's wild. A lot of diaper changes. I know that. So I mean, and, and you know, I, I, a new friend to play with. You know, I mean, that's probably the thing I'm most excited about. Hanging out at home, playing with the little one. You know, just being a dad. Kind of put me in the tracks for a little bit there. So Richie and his wife Sarah expecting their first child in March. A little girl that they intend to name Bailey. So congratulations to the Allen family. He did his work in the offseason. Very nice. There's another strike for Allen. So everybody's starting to find their groove right now. Richie Allen making a ball change, going to a vital energy, which is a, a little less aggressive than what he started with. But now, after the ball change, he went 10 pin and then followed up with a double. Now Norm Duke looking for three in a row. And the two-time PBA Player of the Year finds that triple. The lead to 14 through eight. And one of Norm's biggest fans in attendance here. Here's Kimberly Presser with a special guest. Norm Duke has been part of the PBA Tour for almost 30 years now, and I am with Martha, his mother, and you are a very familiar face around here. How many of these shows have you actually been to? 
Maybe 25, a little over. Well, I see that uh, Carolyn is with you, which is his yes. aunt, and she's normally with you as well, right? Yes, she and my other sister, and sometimes my son. Well, you are clearly his biggest fan. Do you still get a little nervous? Oh, it's so hard sitting here. It's unbelievable. Well, thank you, and good luck to you guys today. Thank you. Through eight, Duke on top by 14, rolling in front of his mom. Gets the ball to drop. I'll tell you what, that may be the biggest break for Norm Duke this week. That ball was headed for Big Four or Greek Church country. Instead, he trips them all out, four pin going late. Watch this, this ball is left of left out of his hand. It's going high. Oh man, trip 4-9 late for a four bagger. Norm Duke can now strike out for 229. Allen in the ninth. Very light on that head pin. Richie went with the bar reaction and the shape sh uh, uh, of shot that he's used all week, which is in, opening it up, and throwing to the dry part of the lane. And today, it wasn't the right combination. Straighter definitely is greater on the telecast today for Cheetah. And another huge spare conversion. He's had two epic conversions in this match. Unfortunately, it's too little too late. The best he can shoot is 192. As you see, Richie Allen converting the 2-4-10 perfectly. Left side of the 2-pin, throwing it over into the 10-pin. Nicely done. Norm Duke. Already in the 200s. He will just need a mark if Richie Allen strikes out in the 10th frame. Strike number one, trying to put some pressure on the Hall of Famer is Allen, who last won late January of 06 in Phoenix. Just two Lumber Liquidator PBA Tour titles for Allen. And first competitor right now, Duke, 33. And quickly closing in on 34 is Duke. Drops a deuce there in the 10th. Norm doesn't even need a mark, Rob. He just needs good count. A lot of open frames and, and more open frames than, than you would expect. The lane's going through a little bit of transition after the first two games. Michael Halgan Jr. is probably thinking to himself, wow, I just averaged 247. I'm not bowling anymore. And where was uh, where was this norm? So a good conclusion for your two seed, Richie Allen drops all three in the tenth. Eight pins on the first ball, and that's all she wrote. Norm Duke will bowl for the title, the Cheetah Championship once again. Yeah! Well, how's your father there on the release? <laughs> Drops all 10, and Norm, one win away from defending his title. So our title match, uninterrupted, is next, and we'll elaborate on the number one seed, Eugene McCune's historic qualifying stampede leading up to the Cheetah Championship.